you will not need to hit a single golf ball to improve, play better, play happy golf with what I'm about to tell you. So this takes zero practice in order to improve how you move through the golf ball. It's simply down to what we're doing with the mind, the concepts to make you swing the golf club better and shoot better scores. So that definitely sounds too good to be true. Really what I'm after is a couple of key concepts that are game changers in which alter how the club moves and also gives you that kind of trust and repeatability and consistency to do the right things every time. The first thing we're going to talk about is hitting the right part of the golf ball. Now I've got two golf balls here just to help to explain this. And if I come in close here, you'll see on this golf ball I've got some writing on there. So draw, straight and slice. So basically if we hit the golf ball in this area here with a centered strike, that's going to produce either a draw shot or a straight shot. If we hit the ball in the center, that will produce a slice shot. How it works is basically when we hit a golf ball, the ball sticks on the face for three thousandths of a second. So the club should be rotating on an arc during that period. We should be moving around the corner. Now, if the face creates that collision in the center and then rotates on an arc, we will release the ball left. So in order to hit straight shots, we have to hit the inside part of the golf ball. If we hit the middle or the outside part of the golf ball, we will be getting our path to be on an out to in axis. If the face then is open, that will create fades and slices. If the face is closed, it'll create obviously pulls and hooks and shots that go left. So the first concept is really, let's focus on hitting the right part of the golf ball. So with golf balls, you can put markers on them. Well, I've got a especially low good ball here. This is a Paul Hurrian ball, one of my friends who's a putting coach. But this logo here, I can place in the right spot to focus my attention on whilst I'm trying to hit a normal golf shot. And if I put that logo in that back corner there, that is the first concept that we want to think about today. And I want to visualize the club hitting the ball on that logo in that direction. That is the first thing I want you to think about. And all I'm going to ask you to do is commit to hitting the ball in that part of the ball. Let's try one. And what we want to do from this is quieten the, the mind, quieten the brain. We want you to focus on only that. So forget any other swing thoughts you might have. Let's just concentrate on hitting the ball in the right area to hit straight golf shots. The second idea I want you to have is all about driving through the ball. So what we're going to try and do is hit the right part of the ball and get that golf club to drive through the ball. So if I can focus on my golf club, kind of dragging along the ground, post impact, and ideally a little bit to the right for most golfers. Again, if you're a hooker at a golf ball, I'd probably make this arc a little bit to the left, but we're still going to try and drive through the ball. We're trying to get the divot, if you like, to extend to about four to six inches past the golf ball. So I'm really going to focus on can I hit the inside part of the ball and can I get my hands and club head driving through the golf ball to create a little bit more shuffling, to create a little bit more of what I would call handle force to make sure my low point is in the right spot. So essentially what I'm looking for for this video is you to hit it on the correct arc and with the correct low point. And if we do those two things well, well, the only thing else that can go wrong would be the club face. And then that's when it comes back to, I want you to be very committed. I don't want you to steer the ball. I don't want you to think I'm going to nurse the ball down the fairway. If we can hit the right part of the ball and commit, and commit by getting into a nice big finish, and if we get into the finish in the right position, that's going to encourage the right rotation through the golf ball, which then is going to help the club face. So we're working on the correct arc, the correct low point, and the correct club face with essentially two concepts when we swing which is hitting the right part of the ball and extending through the ball, pushing through the ball into a finish. So it does lots of things for us with, in my opinion, very little thought power. And obviously we don't need to do any practice. Now, if you get the golf balls, which have the multiple logos on them, the tailor-made ones in particular, 
you can then focus on hitting one of those logos, no matter where the ball is sitting on the fairway after you've hit your tee shots and so on. Or you can go ahead and put some dots on your golf balls and we can hope those dots arrive in the right spot to help you with this concept. But for the hitting through concept, I've got a secondary ball here, again, about six inches past the ball. And all I'm gonna focus on now is try and make a huge effort to hit the inside part of the ball and then keep, keep moving, keep driving through with the club head and handle, if I can, to that spot. Can't hit it any better than that. Look at that divot, perfect divot just after the counter point. The low point there, the divot almost reaches that ball, which is exactly what I want you to do. And as long as I'm rotating through the ball, that'll also create then the rotation to help then, as long as we have connection, the arm and body rotation to release that golf club to give me straight goal shots. So what I'm offering you today in this video is zero effort, zero practice results but we have to get our mind switched on to visualizing that club hitting that part of the ball and extending through every single shot. You have to be 100% on it, 100% focused every single golf shot in the consistency of doing those things and you will play better golf. If you find you can't hit that part of the golf ball, and again, if you put some Sharpie marks on it, you'll see on the golf club if you're making contact in that part, then obviously we need to look at the mechanics you're doing in order to create that. But does trying to do that improve your scores, improve your golf? I would say it will do with most of you out there. So I'd like you to give it a go and post down below how you got on with the zero effort, zero practice method to play better.